Hi all, I am your TA Balaji and we will be discussing the solution for assignment 4. So let's start off, as usual we will go over one question uh, at a time and we will discuss the solution. In underscore underscore standard call, uh, an exact number of function parameters is to be passed since stack cleanup happens at the call. So this is true by definition, this is what uh, std call is and also you may notice, you may have noticed that retn is uh, executed at std call wherein n is predetermined which depends on uh, the data type of the uh, function parameters that are passed and also the number of these uh, parameters so in total uh, n is calculated based on this hence it needs to be predetermined and hence uh, this is true okay. question 2 in the execution of uh, the function authenticate if if the execution of the function authenticate is stopped after the execution of line 6 right and a snapshot of the stack is uh, recorded the values of the local variable pass key and pass div uh, can be obtained so if a snapshot of the stack is taken the local variables of uh, the values of these local variables can be obtained so hence it is true Let's say after line 12 executes, uh, the value of the local variable pass key and pass div, can they be uh, obtained? No, since these both are set to zero here and uh, the value will be zero and not these values, right? So it is false. Once a function returns the local variable as reinitialized to garbage values before the next call you now they remain as it is so if you do not uh, change the local variables to uh, something else before you exit the function they will remain as it is which is the original values so hence this is false which of the following 8086 instructions is most suitable to copy a chunk of memory from data segment to the extra segment so as we can see the obvious choices move sp Analyze the C code and answer the following questions. What is the total what is the total number of times the prologue or epilogue executes for the function fact in the above code? So let's look at this fact of six. So six uh, it is called once here and it is not one. So it is uh, return six into five into four into three into two and again it is called again so it is six times in total it's the answer six analyze the following c code and answer the following questions so case two was shown here so case by case two uh, we mean that the function parameters are passed from right to left let's say uh, let's look at the generic ca uh, case one generic example for case one so when function parameters are passed from left to right the PSTR is at the bottom right so we look at question seven if the above C code is executed until the prologue of printf in line five what is the location of PSTR with respect to EVP if parameters were passed from left to right so let's say left to right we have seen in this example that PSTR is at the bottom so it is a uh, red uh, ebp caller uh, return address the va uh, the value that is passed that is 2 and pstr so the location at which pstr is with respect to ebp is ebp plus 12. let's look at case 2 now uh, as it is passed from right to left pstr is right over here which is ebp plus 8 so this is the right answer let's look at uh, question 8 if the in the above C code, uh, if the above C code is executed until the prologue of printf in line six, what is the location of PSTR with respect to EBP? If parameters were passed from left to right and from right to left, so case one, as we know, case one, um, in case one, PSTR is at the bottom. So all of the parameters are first. Uh, so the parameters are two and three point five. So they are over here, right? Point five two and PST. Okay, so I have made a mistake here. It is basically three point five. No. And 
this case it is PSTR uh, 3.5 and PSTR and in this case it is PSTR 2 and 3.5 right uh, was this the same as before okay let's just go ahead so what is uh, what is PSTR here it is EBB plus 20 and in this case it is EBB plus 8 so this is the answer if the above C code is executed until the prologue of printf in which case does the location of PSTR with respect to EBP remain unchanged respective of the number of parameters passed to printf so here we can notice that in both of the questions the location of PSTR is not changed and hence using the PSTR we can determine if whether it was a percentage F or percentage D. So hence we require the location of PSTR to not change and hence this is the correct way of calling and uh, this is what is being followed. Right case 2. Hence case 2 parameters are pushed onto stack from right to left will not alter the location of PSTR with respect to EBP and hence is the pre preferred way of passing parameters to a function. Analyze the C code and answer the questions. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the value that is printed out after the execution of the above C code? So let's look at this function A. So here K equal to Fn of 2,3 so here it is 2 plus 3 k is equal to 5 yeah what is the value that is printed out after the execution of the above sequence if line 8 was replaced by k equal to fn of a so fewer number of arguments have passed and this will result into uh, result uh, as a compiler error and hence this is the right answer now if more number of arguments are passed what happens is uh, k equal to fn of 2 comma 3 comma 4 right so if more number of arguments are passed it just ignores this other argument and still uh, the functionality is carried ahead with these two variables uh, so with these two function parameters right so uh, here it is 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 and k is equal to 5 in this question if statement 1 is replaced by un uh, int underscore underscore c will call and 8 is replaced by this what uh, which of the following is not true since the stack cleanup is happening at the caller there is no issue yeah so uh, in, in underscore underscore cd will call cd uh, the stack cleanup esp right esp equal to esp plus uh, n that happens at the caller so there is no problem the execution returns to the uh, function main correctly after fn yes this is also true the function executes correctly if it was underscore underscore standard call no it does not because stack cleanup will be a problem in this case as it will expect uh, and clean up only two uh, for on will account for only two parameters however there are three parameters that are being passed hence stack cleanup will be a problem in underscore underscore standard call the execution this is wrong the execution returns to an arbitrary location after executing main now this is wrong so, it does not return to any arbitrary location answer the following question based on the assembly code for the c statement given below so what is x word here so as we know that uh, it is passed from function parameters are passed from right to left so first uh, this is nothing but both are double so it is d word sorry it is q word and where 1 is y and where 2 is x right what is n here n is nothing but uh, since the stack cleanup is happening at the caller n is nothing but the total number of arguments that are past the total size right so it is uh, for two double uh, parameters it is 8 and 8 and for one char star pointer it is 4 so any pointer it is 4 bytes for any pointer right so it is 8 plus 8 plus 4 which is nothing but 20 right so 20 is the answer okay 
So now we will go ahead and look at questions 18 to 26. It is based on the my printf function which is discussed in lecture 17a and 17b. Assume that the my printf function is called from main as follows. Okay. So and also note that questions 18 to 26 pertain to the execution of my printf as called in the C code below. Hence, answers slash values obtained in these two questions are interdependent. Do not treat them as separate questions. So we have to use the values obtained in uh, both of these questions and they are interdependent is what is being conveyed. Okay, so let's uh, dive into what this is. So question 18 in the above assembly code, what purpose does statement one serve? So let's look at the assembly code that is this so yeah given information is this and this is the C code wherein int main x equal to 2 n equal to 3 this is how it is being called my printf okay so now let's first uh, Let's first take a look at the stack before we go into the question. So uh, once this function my printf is called, what happens is that retad uh, is being pushed into the stack, which is the return address. Then comes uh, the EPP of caller, right? Now uh, we also have first before all of that, uh, the variables are passed which is nothing but uh, first n is being passed that is here and then x and then PSTR right so this is how it happens the stack is filled up in this way so once we are familiar with this now we will be able to look at what is question 18 actually looking for in the above assembly code what purpose the statement one serve so what a statement one sub lea -E -A -X, comma d word or oh, d word pointer of underscore fmt dollar ebp plus four so underscore fmt dollar is given as eight uh, so to calculate this whole thing which is in yellow that is nothing but ebp plus four plus underscore fmt dollar which is nothing but eight so it is value in the address ebp plus 12 so and that since it is LEA load effective address, this brackets are taken off. So it is exactly the address EBP plus 12 is being put onto EAX. So it loads the effective address, which is uh, puts EBP plus 12 onto EAX. So this is exactly what uh, option one states and hence option one is correct. So next question 19, what is val, val equal to? What is val equal to? val is equal to 12 from the stack picture so let's look at the stack again so what is val here it is ebp plus this will give you x right so uh, again to look at what this is ebp points to ebp caller then this is EBP, this is ebp plus 4 plus 8 and plus 12 right so that's how we get ebp plus 12 now let's go to question number 20 as so we finished 18 and 19 question number 20 right yeah so, so right answer. infer from the above assembly code statement uh, statement 2 okay so we'll have to infer from statement 2 what does that suggest the ad okay so let's look at what statement 2 is move d word pointer uh, underscore ap dollar epp so this is nothing but uh, epp minus 8 okay so a value in epp minus 8 is being uh, eax is being moved to the value in epp minus 8 statement 1 we know that eax is equal to epp plus 12 right and hence uh, value in epp minus 8 is equal to epp plus 12 so what is happening here is basically uh, inside in the address EBP minus eight 
in the address epp minus 8 epp plus 12 is being put so that is what is happening over here so let's look at the options the address of the c variable ap is epp minus 8 is that true yes so the address of ap is this that is true so let's mark that away and ap equal to epp plus 12 so what is ap ap is the value in this address which is epp plus 12 hence ap equal to epp plus 12 is correct yes so these two so yeah we'll look at question 21 now what is it saying the above assembly code what purpose the statement one serve okay so let's look at statement one move eax comma divert pointer of ap dollar uh, ebp so this yellow box is nothing but uh, value in ebp minus eight so that is pushed onto that is moved into eax so hence option four which says uh, stores the value in the address ebp minus eight onto the register eax is correct and next what is in EPP minus 8 as we have seen earlier EPP minus 8 has the value EPP plus 12 right so here you can see it has EPP plus 12 so hence this option is also correct which is option 1 right now let's look at question 22 num equal to so what is num here Since the C statement is VA arg AP comma int, so the num is 4 here. So add EAX comma 4, right? So that's exactly what it is. What is the value in the C variable AP once VA arg executes after encountering percentage D for the first time? my printf so it for the first time percentage d is encountered that means var ap comma int is called so what happens is uh, move divert pointer uh, app minus 8 comma eax so what is in eax app plus 16 right So the C variable AP now has EP plus 16. So why does this have EP plus 16? Because it has encountered uh, eax and uh, it has encountered uh, int and uh, eax is incremented by 4 so as we have seen here add eax comma 4 so eax changes from ebb plus 12 eax is equal to ebb plus 12 here and eax becomes ebb plus 16 here so that is what happens and now the new stack picture is uh, ebp plus 16 is in the location ebp minus 8 which is nothing but the c variable ap so the value in the c variable ap is ebp plus 16 is the right answer so now let's go to question 24 what is the value in the c variable ap once var executes after encountering percentage d for the second time so when it uh, happens for the second time again eax will be incremented by 4 and now it will be ebp plus 20. so uh, the c variable ap will have ebp plus 20. what is num2 here 
num2 is again 4 because that is what yeah so uh, since uh, this is a d word pointer and uh, since var int is being called num2 is 4 and this is a d word pointer because it is of type var gp comma int right if it was double then it would have it would have been minus 8 and this would have been a q word pointer right so this is a t word pointer so yeah we have come to the end of the session and uh, yeah any doubts regarding this session we could have it uh, taken up in the forum so thank you very much